It's time for the Angry Planet Long-Term Global Forecast, brought to you by the United Nations World Meteorological Organization. Boy, those jokers. Let's take a look at their imaginary, but probably right on the nose nightmarish scenario. More of the same in today's global forecast. Torrential downpours in Denmark, tsunamis in Japan, landslides in Brazil, and drought in Burkina Faso. The UN's future forecast is set in the year 2050. By then, the Statue of Liberty will be on its side, of course, and apes will roam what land is left. But the really bad news is that increased global temperatures will probably melt Greenland's ice sheet, causing global sea levels to rise by 23 feet. Now, when that happens, say goodbye to America's retirement home because Miami is going the way of Atlantis. So are Bangkok, London, and even the island nation of Kiribati will be totally submerged. Oh, sweet Kiribati, we hardly knew you. Or knew how to even, well, pronounce you. Seriously, can anyone name even one fact about Kiribati or, or find it on a map? I wish I could say that with this much advance notice that we'll find a way to save that lovely nation, but I bet we won't even get it together to kickstart floaties for them. Ah. Oh. When human beings aren't being swallowed by floods of biblical proportions, chances are they'll be dying of thirst or hunger. The UN report says that climate change is going to cause massive drought and food shortages. But hey, it's not all bad news. There's also some worse news, too. You see, all those years we spent debating whether or not climate change was actually a thing, we could have been cutting carbon emissions. And scientists say, unless we dramatically reduce our carbon footprint, we're more or less doomed. That's all the sunshine I have to splash around for you now. Back to you. 